Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Uh, if not, I hope you can make it the best of the day that you're having today. Um, I had a rough night last night. I didn't sleep very well, so I took some uh, natural sleeping uh, herbal supplements and that knocked my butt out once they kicked in. <laughs> So I got up quite late today, um, and it's kind of dreary out. You can see the, the sun's not really shining. It's quite overcast, um, but it's not too bad today. Kind of chilly, um, some breeze, but overall for a winter's day today, it's quite toleratable, tolerable, <laughs> whatever the word is. But anyways, um, so I just figured I'd come out, get some fresh air, and talk to you guys. I don't get out much when it's cold because the cold really aggravates my fibro. It really makes me ache and just causes my muscles to lock up. Very painful, just not cool. Um, but I need the fresh air and I need to come out and, and enjoy nature and not always be stuck inside. So here I am, I'm out here. I actually uh, took care of the chickens earlier today um, just giving them some fresh uh, hay um, to walk around on because we got about another two inches of snow plus ice so the chickens don't like yeah, having their feet cold um, so they don't come out unless there's something for them to stand on besides snow and ice um, so I did that today I put some uh, hay down and now they're out just um, enjoying being outside in fresh air as well. Um, got some flurries coming in, um, but uh, just one of those times that uh, have to come out and enjoy the weather for what it is. And this is winter, and this is winter weather. So, uh, one of the things I'm trying to do is just uh, deal with all the stress that's going on lately. Um, as you know, the world, well, the USA at least, is in quite an uproar right now. Um, you know, we got people all over the US and some other places of the world too that are just really upset about the election and COVID and just all the drama that's going on here in the US that affects so many other places. Um, and it's very, very stressful. Um, a lot of people realize that times are changing and we're not necessarily talking about for the better. Um, a lot of people are realizing that they need to become more self-sufficient. Uh, the, the amount of people looking at homesteading life has skyrocketed. Um, seed companies again are being bombarded with people wanting to get seed to grow their own food this year, just like last year. Um, they're realizing that uh, they have to start preparing for worse times that are ahead. And um, some of you who have followed me for a while know that uh, I'm a Christian and uh, one of the more conservative Christians and uh, when I, I read the Bible and study the Bible and things and look around, um, I can see that the end is near. Uh, in Matthew, basically in chapter 24, and there's some other parts in Matthew, uh, it gives us signs about uh, the end of the world, as it were and uh, different things that are happening that uh, just shows that the, the world's coming to a close, that this, this drama is just about over. And I'm not here to uh, date set or anything. That's, that's not what I do. Uh, you know, that's not what my denomination does. We don't date set. Um, but we know based on the Bible and what it tells us that uh, the end is near, um, that this part of Earth's history will come to a close 
and uh, soon we'll be starting over as it were um, and one of the things it talks about in Matthew is the pestilences that uh, will get worse and pestilences isn't talking about bugs but it's talking about disease and back in the 80s 90s AIDS was a huge problem and uh, you know everybody was scared that they were going to get AIDS which you know eventually kills people there's no cure for it um, but eventually you know that mellowed out and uh, people learned how to be responsible and uh, that disease has really decreased in the amount of fear and things like that and the infection rate has gone way way down because people know how to deal with with that and then of course we've had other diseases come through we've had the swine flu we've had the bird flu West Nile virus Ebola um, E. coli outbreaks here and there have really gone up uh, our food supply has been like really compromised with E. coli and some other uh, diseases it's been really really difficult but the most troublesome pestilence is the COVID-19 and this has spread worldwide uh, the disease whether or not you believe in it or not you can see the impact of it worldwide it's caused many places to shut down economies to crash people to panic this outbreak is just insane on uh, the amount of damage it's, it's caused to the economy uh, to people's livelihoods um, the fear factor of people not wanting to get it because it can kill you um, and it's just really heartbreaking but it's all pointing to the end of Earth's history and uh, right now it's really hard to think positive um, I've tried thinking positive about this COVID thing that you know it's basically another flu um, we have influenza all of the time and COVID's like that except much worse for some people who get it and uh, I know personally three individuals who have gotten it and died we just recently lost our pastor from our church um, he didn't die of COVID per se but because his body was so weakened from his bout with COVID which took him over a month to recover from that um, he ended up dying of heart failure and uh, so we're just we're all just reeling from that um, he just died last week actually uh, so um, and then two of my good friends have died from COVID um, so my other friends had mild cases of it and uh, you know they got over it and life moves on um, you know just like the flu you got people who it gives them the sniffly and sneezes and others who it really does a lot of damage to uh, but COVID's worse COVID is much worse and I really don't care if you think if it's uh, manufactured or being used as a political tool or or whatever it is what it is and we've got people who are dying from it sure it's not a lot of people I mean the percentage rate is like 0.03 percent or something of people who get it that die from it but there's other people who have serious complications from it um, so it is a serious disease no matter where it came from but the thing is is that it's it's a tool that's being used not just by our political people but uh, I believe by the Lord to to show that his coming is near and uh, my journey kind of just goes along with that because um, as one of my one of my favorite hymns goes is I'm a pilgrim and I'm a stranger and I cannot tarry but a night um, this world isn't my home um, my home is the kingdom of heaven um, so that's where I'm on a journey to and um, this right here what I'm doing here 
in this life on earth right now is trying to prepare for the afterlife and uh, you know just being happy of being in the garden and working in the garden like Adam and Eve used to that was their first job was tending the garden and tending to the animals and enjoying that time and uh, so that's what I've been trying to do um, even on days that is miserable like today just getting out there and uh, just enjoy nature and uh, knowing that you know whatever happens with COVID eh, it happens whatever happens with the election whether uh, Biden's finally inaugurated in or something happens and Trump's still in power which some people talk about it doesn't really matter it doesn't change the fact that the journey still got to take place that you still have to move on in life and do the best you can with where you are at and uh, political drama is going to be what it is political drama so I try not to get involved in that um, you know it says in the in the Bible that uh, the Lord raises up kings and kingdoms and he breaks them back down. Um, so whoever puts, whoever is in office, the Lord has them there for a reason. And I'm not going to say one way or the other who I want in office because I don't do that. It's not my thing. Um, I don't care. I don't care because uh, the hearts of men are evil continually. And what good can come out of an evil heart? Um, you know, Trump's got an evil heart, Biden's got an evil heart, I have an evil heart. It's just the way um, that we are right now in our current state of things. But the Lord uses people to get his will done. And so if Trump's kept in office, there's a reason for it. If Biden gets in office, there's a reason for it. Um, if Pelosi ends up being president because they pull the... Uh, 25th Amendment or some other thing you know all these different theories uh, if somebody else is in office there's a reason for it and I just know that uh, my God my president my king so to speak um, he's in control he's in control of all this chaos and I just see the chaos as further signs that the end is coming and so my journey is not to be worried about who's in political power my journey is not to be worried about this coronavirus and who it can kill and who it is killing um, my journey is not to be worried about where am I gonna get my food and how am I gonna pay my bills and all that because the Lord's in control and uh, so I just wanted to share with that with you today that there's a lot of chaos everywhere about different things. You know, uh, just a lot of stuff going on right now. And uh, the best thing to do is just not worry about it. But worry about yourself and your personal journey. And then the others that you come in contact with to help uplift others who might be struggling and encourage others and help others who may be less fortunate than yourselves. Uh, there's food drives that they have here in our area and we go to them quite often and we go not just for ourselves but there's other people in our community who need help with food and can't get to those food drives so we pick up extra food for them because we know that they're in need and right now that's what it's about it's about helping each other and uh, you know there's gonna come a time when all we have is each other because everything else is gonna fall apart so I hope that wherever you are whatever journey you might be starting because like I said I know a lot of people are looking at to being their own homesteading self-sufficient people living off-grid and all that good stuff whatever journey you're on or that you're starting to take I hope that you are wonderfully blessed and I hope that you can be continually encouraged 
and that you can encourage others who might be thinking about doing the same thing. I love all you guys and I hope that you will stay around and continue with me as I figure out this journey. Um, this year is going to be a wild ride. I think worse than last year. So I hope you got some good seat belts and I hope you got some good faith because you're going to need it. Take care everybody and I hope wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye bye.